Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a little sponsored video or let's just call it partial sponsored because I have received some goodies from Gearbest and they sent some stuff that we're gonna have a look at in just a second or two but it went into the customs department and I had to pay uh, 226 Danish crowners to get this package which is almost 36 dollars 35 point something so yeah that's about one third of the price so uh, this is um, three fourth uh, gear best and one fourth me so but let's see what we got oh yeah um, gear best on the 11th of September I'm not sure that's a very bright date but well they are having a flash sale over at Gearbest's page and you can go check that out in a month that is still pretty far from now but well now I've told you so and that's 2017 so it might be way over by now but they sent me this little package and there is actually another package inside of this package because um, I just put everything into this little package, which um, is very convenient. So let's go to the table and see what I got. So this is actually a pretty good view because we have some storage up here and these are fiber channel drives. These are 300 gigabyte fiber channel drives, which is a really good drive, but the technology is um, kind of obsolete. Uh, it has been replaced by SSDs and in this box we have a SATA cable that's not it then we have a metal thing that's not it yet then we have a nice little other metal thing the long version of the short metal thing and then we have this this is a king disc I am not gonna go into what that sounds like or who might be ripping off who but this is a blue <laughs> 240 gigabyte oh i realized i said that wrong it's not a king disc it's a king dian d i a n dian i don't know um i found it here on gearbest's page and it's this one and it's an original king dian n 480 and it's 240 gigabytes uh, NGFF M2 SSD this means that it uh, it uses the SATA cable it does not really use the the PCI Express slots which the NVMe drives uses this is on Gearbest's page and right now it's um, 93 dollars and 35 cents so yeah it's available in blue <laughs> and 120 gigabytes and 240 gigabytes i also got this little awesome monitor computer from gearbest and that's why i'm showing it and I, I went out and bought a pin because it was just too small but i actually use this a lot so um, i will also leave that in the description because well you have seen this multiple times on my channel because i tend to find uses for it in weird places like showing you this I can put this all the way up to the lens and it won't take up all the spots and oh it's just handy but Gearbest asked if there was something that I would like to show my audience and I could go pick something and this time it was for about a hundred dollars so I had a lot of trouble but I picked that one and I picked this one well we just saw this one was about just under a hundred dollars and this was only a few dollars it was like five dollars five six dollars uh, it i i think i kept it under a hundred dollars by like two cents so that was just absolutely awesome but this is really awesome <laughs> this is really also awesome for putting in a server because a server like this on the front of it it has room for eight drives uh, this one has only four drives in it it has room for four more then it has an internal usb stick where you can boot from and that is a usb 2 
um, which is not that fast anymore. So I am really going into, um, I want to use this solution for booting my servers. And it's the new stuff. All the new servers from Lenovo uh, that I am very fond of um, uses, that, that would be NVMe drives. This is an NGFF drive, um, so a solid state drive. But let's get it out of the packaging. Maybe. Scissors. Maybe have a better look. They are tiny. It looks it looked like a broken RAM module, but 240 gigabytes of storage. That's awesome. And it comes with a screw. There. Cool. So, um, and this little device, which you can mount inside the server with either a long, long one like this, or the short one like this. Depending, this server has both mounting um, small form factor and normal form factor uh, you kind of put this in i wonder if this can go in both ways it's probably not supposed to do that no it no they have thought about that it goes in this way and you pop it in here and you screw it down to to this screw here and you pop that in and you occupy this and put that down to the motherboard. Let's see how far we can go with this. This server is right now running while it's also noisy in the background. And let's just press something. It has VMware ESX i6.00 installed. And I took the liberty of installing a ESX i version on this USB stick uh, to be installed on this setup as soon as uh, it is ready. Inside this server, the, it has two riser cards. It has one full length riser card, X16. Mm, no, actually an X, it, it has an X16 slot, but it's only an X8. And then over here, it has a half height or small form factor. And that is actually an X16, uh, both the connector and the, the connections down here. And it's able to supply the full 75 watts for a slot like that. So I would like to put my um, thinky here and I have been out getting a screwdriver so we might as well just mount this. Take out the screw here and maybe not drop it into the server that might. I have I've turned off the server just to be careful. Oh they are really tiny. They, they could they could go places where they would be very hard to find again so that is mounted and it should have a good connection down here being held in place it has like a springy feeling to it so what this does is more or less only that it supplies power to this device through the PCI Express lane and as um, it would it would fit really well in this small one uh, this one, but I actually have another card that I want to go in there uh, a Rate controller card and so I'm not going to be using the smaller one for it. I'm going to be using the bigger one This one so we need to put on the bigger Metal bracket which is right here So let's get that out of there And it also came with screws. So that's just fantastic they were still in the box. So here we are. And we will assemble this. That's a bit hard. Assembling this and keeping it in view. Arr, didn't really think that through. There we are. That's the start anyway. The first one and the other one. The newer servers has this built in. As I said, the new Lenovo servers, Lenovo are coming out with a new line of servers. Uh, I think it's about 14 new server models and they all have 
NVMe drive to boot on. They don't actually, as far as I know, they don't have a USB internally. They don't have an SD card internally. They have something that looks very similar to this, even though it does not use the SATA connector, which this one has to. Uh, it uses the direct down into the PCI Express lane. That will work considerably faster, but this should actually be a really good SSD. And it fits right into a server. And the reason why this is cool compared to just putting it in the front of the server here, it, it doesn't occupy one of those front drives. With this way, we can still put in eight drives in the front of the server and have it boot of this device. Maybe even using this as a little bit more storage. So well, it looks like this. Why did this fall off? There. So we'll try and put this in and have that mounted. It's not gonna be very, yeah, you can kind of see it on the top there. So let's plop that in. Ooh. Mounted. Cool. This server only has one port of SATA, and that is actually used for the CD-ROM drive, which is a bit of a shame that they haven't put in an extra one. But we will borrow that. Uh, they have made their own funny connector, so okay, we're not gonna not gonna be using the CD-ROM anyway. And I'm gonna put this back in as well. So we're gonna connect here with the little red cable that came with it. Uh, it only fits in one of these, so don't shouldn't be able to do that wrong. And over here to the card, there. And now uh, you have to have to get rid of this in some some nice manner. So instead of booting from these two drives, which contain the, the hypervisor, the VMware ESXi, I'm gonna dismount those. I'm gonna put in the installation disk where the new version is here. And the plan is to install it from here and over to there and have the server boot from the new M.2 NGFF SSD. Okay, I booted the installation and as you can see up here, we are right now installing VMware ESXi 6.5.0 installer. And down here, it actually picked up our ATA King DM N480 240 gigabyte drive. And it's right there, that's awesome. So we're definitely gonna install on that. The next two it sees, it sees my two um, hard drives in there and then it sees the USB stick uh, that we are installing from. It's actually possible to install ESXi on the USB stick that you are installing from but we really want to have this one running so we're gonna install it on that one. And I'll select my Danish keyboard and a password. It does want us to be very sure that we are actually want to uh, delete this so it comes one more time and asks if you really want to delete this drive and I'm gonna prove that and install and it's installing okay the installation is complete and this is the server and it has gotten an IP number down here it has 64 gigs of memory we can't see the storage here so we have to log into it to actually see that so just a second and I'll get that right to you I have logged into the server here. It's brand new and it's complaining about everything. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, we have the host up here and that host has some store. Oh, that's not it, it's down here. It has two storage pools. It has the internal two drives and then it has our new SSD drive. And the internal storage drives are these. Oh, that's not it one. Uh, they don't pop up right here. I'm not sure why they don't. It's kind of weird. No, but they pop up down here. Storage one, which is over here, 260 gigabytes. So that's definitely not the SSD. And then we have storage two over here. 
and that is 215 gigabytes or 216 gigabytes and that is our <laughs> very nice ATA King Ding Dang King Dian NGFFSSD and one thing to be very mindful of is that it's an ATA I just put it in the CD-ROM slot and the server actually thinks that it's the CD-ROM so when I had to boot on this I had to pick the CD-ROM because that was the that was the connection that this was on so I'm booting it from the CD-ROM even though there is an SSD I'm not sure if that can influence on performance but I really thought that it booted fast no problem there whatsoever it should be able to do read speeds with about 560 megabytes per second and write speeds with 365 megabytes per second it's an SATA 6 gigabit SSD I'm probably not getting that out of it but I might just have to test that someday well this was a nice little sponsored video by Gearbest I will of course leave links to this device, the SSD and the PCI Express card in the description below. If you want to go shop, that's totally up to you. These products are rather well priced for upgrading a server like this. The Lenovo X3550 Model 4 is definitely not meant for having an internal SSD. And I'm not sure if there were, yeah, there were probably SSDs when it was new but they were all meant to go in front of the server. This way I could have that internal SSD boot the server really fast. It could run server 2016. It could also run some Linux operating system or it can run this ESXi 6.5 with additional storage of 200 and about 15 gigabytes of SSD, probably pretty fast storage. And then I still have the 8 base in front of the server for maybe slower but bigger ordinary spinning disks. So, well, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching my videos and do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.